second, I want to go to Chicago. Our own uh, Jeff Flock is there because teachers in Chicago and elsewhere, I believe, are protesting the DeVos pick for education secretary. Rick, I'm sorry, Jeff, I have to ask, why are teachers in a failing school system protesting someone who may bring some change? It's about the money, Stuart. Permit me to give you the other side of the story. This is a protest going on here right now at a school in an Hispanic neighborhood. This is actually a charter school, which Betsy DeVos would be for. But look at it. This is a former trucker's motel that has been turned into a charter school. To them, it is about the money. It's not so much about whether it's choice or whether it's public education. It's about the amount of funding that gets devoted to it. This is a, a charter school. Even though it's a charter school, there's already layoffs that are being carried out here. It's about the money to them, not well, about the structure. Well, wait a second. Are they saying that if you've got a charter school that diverts money from the public schools, the teacher union run ch uh, public schools, therefore school choice and uh, charter schools are bad? Is, is, is that what they're saying? No, they like the idea of a charter school. This is one that is an alternative uh, to Chicago public schools, specifically for kids that have dropped out previously, that have been difficult to educate. They like this idea. Uh, they are, though, concerned about the amount of funding that they get, whether it's a charter school or it's the public school. This is a group that would like to see a millionaire's tax in Illinois. I know you don't like the idea, but the but their argument is that the funding isn't there no matter what structure the school takes. Okay, Jeff, we hear you. Rich Lowry, still with me. What do you make of this? Yeah. The urban schools in this country are a disgrace, and Betsy DeVos has spent 30 years trying to improve them. You look at, I don't know what the number is, is in Chicago, you look at Detroit where she's been very active. Almost half of adults in Detroit are functionally illiterate. That is a disgrace, and that is a sign of a generational failure of a school system that she is, has now started trying to reform and shake up, and uh, she gets this for, for her trouble. If what you're seeing in Chicago is all about money, mm -hmm. the whole point, surely, is that if you give the teachers more money, a lot of it goes to the teachers' almost bankrupt pension fund. Her pupil spending has skyrocketed in this country, and we, barely 25% of students at graduation are ready for college. That is a travesty for our economy because employers can't find students with the skills they need to do the work that's out there. This is killing our economy. We should absolutely be talking about education reform, not out there protesting because we're not spending enough money.